labyrinth is a fascinating structure. The oldest labyrinths that we know uh, are from the Neolithic times. In the United States, it was around 20 years ago that the practice of walking the labyrinth has sort of been revitalized. What was the inspiration for this design? I had to figure out what kind of device might engage people. And what does the labyrinth represent? The labyrinth uh, represents uh, uh, the journey of life. I have learned that walking a labyrinth uh, has the ability to uh, provide uh, a calming influence for people. I get so frustrated seeing people on their cell phones as they're walking mm -hmm. and we are so in touch with technology which on the one hand is great but on the other hand we're losing our connection with ourselves. I see especially because stress is so high in so many young people as well as adults yeah. um, as well as people in companies mm -hmm. it's critical to be able to take that time every day to focus. The first part of the walk, the journey into the center, is a journey of release. You release all the things that don't serve you well. I yeah. just love that. <laughs> yeah, I know, letting go. already letting go. Yes. Then when you are in the center, in the center, you sort of reflect. You reflect on the gift that you are receiving from life and then on the way out to the labyrinth, you integrate what you have let go and the gifts that you are receiving in order to create a new approach towards the obstacles or difficulties that are going to present to yourself once you will be out of the labyrinth. It can be used to relax yourself if you're in business and you have a lot of stress, or if you're a young person and you're struggling with many decisions. Look for a labyrinth near you and mindfully walk. As you know, we at Heart Beings want to show you special places that are and people who are trying to do good things. And this is one. <laughs>